Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. So before we get started, we'll do like a little outfit of the day. I'm having yet another overall moment. I am like obsessed with overalls, but these are like really cute. They're like sort of like hippie bell bottom. I'm gonna be wearing them with heels. And then since this is like a statement in itself, I decided to do like minimal jewelry and just do like big giant hoops to kind of go with like the whole like, I don't know, it has like some like 70s vibe. Aww, look at this sleepy angel. Hi baby, are you gonna help me film? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, join the family. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So happy Friday, guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing. By the way, if you see like a blue or green thing over here, I don't have broccoli in my tooth. It's stitches, I had to get gum surgery. And this is actually my first sit down video since getting the gum surgery, because it was like really hard to talk. I was like mumbling, I was like blah, blah, blah. This video is all about how to stay motivated in 2018 for any of your goals, but specifically health and fitness. Because I know what it feels like, because I do this all the time in my own life, to feel like super inspired and motivated and like nothing can stop you. And then other days you feel tired and you just want to eat, you know, cake and you don't want to eat healthy and you don't feel like meal prepping and you feel like skipping the gym. For me, workouts are the first to go. Like the minute I stop feeling motivated, that's like the first thing that I stop doing. So because I go through this myself, I know what can easily get me back on track. I know the things that I tell myself that make me feel good and just overall make me want to eat healthy again or work out again. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing tips for motivation and overall just feeling really great. So if you want to hear all about that, then just keep watching. So if you guys have watched any of my previous motivation videos before, then you know I can't start a motivation video without asking you guys this, and that is why. Why is it that you want motivation? What do you want motivation for? What are you trying to achieve for 2018? So the reason why I'm asking you this is because saying things like, I wanna get healthy for 2018, or I want to lose weight this year, or I wanna get back on track, those are all really good, healthy goals to have, but they're not that specific. For example, what does I wanna be healthier this year mean? Does that mean you wanna cut out soda, sweets? Do you wanna add more vegetables into your diet? Do you wanna start every morning with a green smoothie like I am doing this year? You know, what exactly does that mean? So when you get specific and have a clear picture and a clear goal in your head, that's going to help with motivation. Now, the one thing I wanna say is that you don't necessarily have to be motivated every single day, all day, every day. It's normal, and I want you guys to remember this, if you take anything from this video, take this. It's normal to not feel motivated sometimes. Remember that, remember that there are going to be days that you're going to be feeling sad or tired or lazy or sore from a workout or you just don't feel like eating healthy today. But what I found for me is one, recognizing that has been really helpful, like recognizing that every day might not be my most motivating day. Totally normal to want to sleep in and not eat healthy some days and this and that. But when you find yourself in that position, you do want to get back on track. You do want to start feeling motivated again. And that's where the specific goals come into play and knowing your why, knowing that inner strength of what's driving you to want to do these things. You know, why exactly do you want to lose weight this year? Or why do you want to get healthier this year? Is it things you've been doing that have been unhealthy that make you feel, you know, not as good as you know you could feel? Or, you know, I know for me, the healthier I eat, the better my skin looks and I feel happy and confident when my skin looks good because then I can wear less foundation. So it's kind of like this whole like cycle. I know when I'm drinking more water, I'm less bloated and I like drinking water now. It's crazy, but I used to go to restaurants and order diet soda. Like I'd always think like, yeah, I'll drink water when I'm home, but when I'm out for like lunch or something, I want a diet soda. Now I like can't eat food without water. Like I've trained myself to like water and drink it all the time. Speaking of water, to some people that might not be a big improvement. It might be like, yeah, it's important to drink water every day. But for me, I used to drink like diet teas and diet sodas and you know diet juices and stuff like that. So drinking a lot of water every single day was a huge improvement to me. And it was something that I can actually measure. I try to do a gallon a day, so that's super specific and something I can say, yes, I did a gallon a day, or no, I didn't. Okay, so my second tip for getting back on track or feeling motivated or getting out of a rut is to switch things up. I can so be a creature of habit. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but when I like food or like a certain meal, I'll eat it every single day. Or if I like my coffee a certain way, I'll make it like that every single day. So it's really important for me to switch things up just because 
Once you start getting into the same routine, it can be really good, but it can also feel kind of bored or it can make me feel like I'm missing out or I wanna try something new. So what I've been doing is forcing myself to try new things. So the first thing is I make a green smoothie every single morning. If you guys watch my old, old fitness videos, I never made smoothies. I'm just becoming like a juice smoothie girl, but I never was a juice smoothie girl. So I know that this isn't like anything new for some people, but for me, this is new. So figure out what could be new for you and exciting to try, maybe recipes you've seen on Instagram, which by the way, Instagram and Pinterest, like if you follow like certain healthy accounts, like just food accounts where they just post like pictures of their food, that can be super motivating, especially if they share the recipe or getting a new cookbook. Another thing I told you guys that I was doing in my goal video is eating a lot less meat. And it turns out, I feel at this point in my life, I could be full on vegetarian. So I'm somebody that I can get really inspired by meals. And if I see something that looks delicious, that makes me then wanna try it out and eat healthy. And then I'm like, how could I eat all that processed food? Like, I don't wanna eat that or, you know, fast food, like all that kind of stuff. Trust me, it tastes good in the moment. I know I'm, I'm one to love fast food. <laughs> Think about how you feel after. So get inspired by new recipes, new workouts. You know, if you're used to always going to the gym, try some at-home workouts or some outdoor workouts or vice versa. If you're used to only doing at-home workouts, maybe pop into a workout class and try something new. If you already have number one down, you know your why, you know why you're doing this, but you're still lacking that motivation. Try switching up some of your recipes or workouts and I'm telling you, you will find inspiration and motivation. I am not the most organized person by any means. Let's just throw that out there. But what I'm overall saying is that when I do have clean clothes or the countertop is clean or the dishes are in the dishwasher, that then makes my life easier to go to my workout classes or to meal prep for dinner. Like it is the worst. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when you are all inspired, you're like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Just went grocery shopping, but you come home to all your pots and pans dirty. Now what? Or you're ready to go to the gym or your workout class or do a workout and then you realize that all of your sports bras are in the hamper and you're like, why? So I'm not saying you have to give your apartment or house or dorm room or bedroom an entire makeover, but just overall doing a little bit every day, you know, straightening up your room or straightening up your kitchen, it makes it easier to stick to your goals, have that motivation and overall feel better. I know days that the laundry's done, the kitchen's clean, I'm like, oh. To stay motivated by hanging out with motivated people. Have people in your life that motivate you. Joel Olstein, I was listening to recently that he was like, negative people, when they come in my life, I just start waving and not hello, I'm waving goodbye. He's like, I have no time for negative people. And when he said that, I was like, I love you. And then he went on to talk about that negative people or unmotivated people, they don't bring any value into your life, but instead they just take from you. They take that negative energy from you. They fill your head with like toxic information and like, do you know what's going on in the world? And do you know why it's so hard to lose weight? And they fill you with doubts. I used to have a friend that she would literally fill me with doubts. Do you just stop hanging out with them? Do you stop talking to them or anything like that? And I love that Joel Olsen says, you know, you don't have to stop being friends altogether, but it's good to start meeting new friends. My brother actually shared this quote with me this morning and I actually tweeted it, that you should branch out. That's where all the juiciest fruit is. So branch out, hang out with new people. I'm telling you, if you put it out there that you wanna meet new friends, or you wanna hang out with new people, it will happen. Just give it time. It doesn't mean that you're gonna meet them tomorrow or the next day. However, it doesn't mean that you won't either. It all depends but it will happen. All good things take time. So just remember that all good things that are worth having take time. So I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your motivation tips? What are things that keep you motivated, keep you eating healthy, keep you working out? I would love to know. Have a fabulous weekend guys and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye!